Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about final keyword in Java. Now final keyword is another important keyword that you need to remember and learn the details, where to use it and what exactly it does. So we'll understand about the final keyword and what can be achieved by using the final keyword. Now final keyword is the keyword that is used to do the uh, or restrict the user basically. So you can use the final keyword with the variable or with the method and with the class itself. So let's understand the final variable or final keyword with the variable first and then we'll go ahead with the method and class and then see what is possible uh, with the final keyword and how we will be using it to restrict the changing of the variable data or variable value and the method and the class. So let me create a package here and I'll say com.rcv and I'll say final one. And in this package, I'll create two class. So I'll create a parent class and, and then I'll create a child class child and I'll include the main method in the child class right so for example in the child class you have a instance variable so I'll say public int i is equal to 10 right now I have uh, assigned the value 10 to this instance variable i now if I want to use this particular variable let me create an object of this class I'll say child c is equal to new child and then i can access this particular variable so let me print this first so i can say sys out and i'll print the value so i'll say c dot i and it will print this particular value now i can also update this value so i can say c dot i and assign a new value right so let me assign 20 to it right so now the new value has been assigned so if now again i print the or add the print statement let's see what it uh, prints so click on run and you will see that for the first statement it has printed out this value as 10 and then i was able to assign a new value and then it has printed the new value now there would be many scenarios where you don't want the particular values to be changed by you know child classes or any class that is uh, extending the parent class so in those sort of sort of scenarios or uh, wherever there is a requirement that the fields or the values are the static values or the final values then you can use the keyword final so you just need to use the keyword final so i'll say public final int i and you will see that the error is being shown the final field cannot be assigned so once you you know use the keyword final you cannot change the value of that particular instance variable so that's the significance of the final keyword for the variable right so let me now comment this house out because I'm not able to assign any new value. So this doesn't make any sense, right? Even if I just print now, it will be, you know, 10 and 10. Okay. So that's how you use final keyword with the variable. Now coming back to the method. So let me go back to parent class. All right. And here I'll define a variable. So I'll say public uh, I'll say final so let me define a final variable I'll say uh, int i again is equal to 20 this time in the parent class now I'll also create a method and I'll say set data and let me add the no return type void and I'll simply print the value so I'll say print the final value that I have defined right now if I want to use this particular method in my child class right so I'll simply inherit the parent class so 
all the properties that are defined in the child in the parent class I'll be able to use those properties so if I use the keyword extends then I can inherit the properties of the parent class so extends parent right now because this child class is extending the parent class if I want to override this particular method uh, just let me remove this final keyword from here so at the moment there is no final keyword in the set data method now if I want to override what I can do is I can simply define public void the same method in my child class so I can say set data and I can simply say system dot out dot print and I'll simply call this final right so now if I run this so I can override so this particular variable is coming from this particular class so this final integer is defined in the child class so this is getting printed so I can override this but now if I go to the parent class and I make this method as final as soon as I save it in the child class you can see that I cannot override the final method from parent so that's the usage of the final keyword for the method so if you want the method to be final or you want nobody should be allowed to override the method that you have written in the parent class that should that is the final method and should be fine for all the child classes and child classes should use that particular method as is at is as it is defined in the parent class then you use the keyword final right so once you use the keyword final child class cannot override the particular method they can still use it so now here say for example I want to call the method set data I can call it right but I can't override so let me comment this out because I can't override it and if I run this now you can see that 10 10 so 10 from this line 10 from this line and C dot set data in this particular set data method it is basically accessing this particular final integer um, a variable right so it is printing 20 in this case now if we define the class itself or the whole class itself as fine. so if I say public you know final class and save it then you can see in the child class I cannot extend itself so if the class is defined as final the type child cannot subclass the final class parent so any other class cannot you know inherit the properties of the parent class if the class is defined as final so when you use the final keyword with the class it stops inheritance all right so that's all about the final keyword and the significance of final keyword so if you use the final keyword with the variable you cannot change the value of the variable if you use it with the method you cannot override that particular method in the child class right you can do the inheritance if your method are final in the parent class you can still do the inheritance but you cannot override those method if your class itself is defined or has the keyword as final then in that case you cannot have inheritance or inheritance or no other class will be able to inherit that particular class all right so that's all about the final keyword in java hope this was helpful please do share and subscribe thank you very much for watching